Hello everybody, welcome back to another um, horror video. Today we're going to be doing, um, ranking down the top 5 80s horror, 1980s horror movies. Um, enough the intro, let's get started here. Number 5 is The Evil Dead 2, second movie. Because it had more comedy in it and groovy, gro grooviness in it. Ash was funny. Um, it's a really good. He really he did Sam Raimi. Nice directing skills for him. But uh, amazing, great movie. I loved it. But that's the status of the ones that I that I picked out. Number four is gonna shock a couple people. Nightmare on Elm Street is number four. Nightmare on Elm Street follows Nancy Thompson and her friends being murder, murdered by Nancy Thompson. She doesn't die. Nancy doesn't die. Um, who was that? But um, she tries to bring Freddy into the real world and kill him. I'm not gonna have any spoilers. Never mind. Skip ahead to 125. Um, no, no. Skip ahead to to 135 if you don't want to have spoilers. But uh, she brings um Freddy into the real world and kills him. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, and if you skip to here, uh, it's about Nan Nancy Thompson and her friends being murdered, except her. I don't know. It's confusing for me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Wes Craven, 1984. Uh, pretty much um, popularized New Line Cinema. Number three is The Thing. Remake. Did you guys know that The Thing was a remake from The Thing from Another World? I think I had that in my 50s. But uh, The Thing, uh, I think it was Stephen... John, it was John Carpenter. John Carpenter. Uh, directed by John Carpenter, I believe that was in 84. I don't know. I think it was in 84. I have no clue. But, um, or 87, I don't know. But, great movie. I love, I really liked it. Um, I, I actually thought I wouldn't like it, to be honest. I actually thought I wouldn't. But, but I did. I liked it. It was a good, it was pretty good. Number two is Friday the 13th. Um, uh, I really liked it. I'm sorry, you guys guys need to hear that. I feel really bad. Um, but Friday the 13th, it was directed by Sean S. Cunningham. I think it was his only directed movie. But uh, I liked it. The only bad part is, the bad part about it is Killer Mommy Killer. The Killer Mom. The best mom ever. <laughs> um, mommy issues. Um, but yeah, he did an amazing job at it. Changed the horror genre. Uh, popularized the slasher genre after Halloween. Um, it, it was really good. I love how, how they have built up tension released with it. Um, yeah. Now we head to some honorable mentions. We have Hellraiser, Pinhead. Uh, really good movie. But, you know, not the status of the ones I chose. Uh, Poltergeist is another one. Uh, eh, it was, it was okay. I, I mean, I honestly didn't really catch, catch, catch their drift too much. I didn't really understand a whole lot of it. But, you know, it was good. Uh, the Fog, another one by John Carpenter. Loved it, but you know, not the status of the other ones. Halloween 2. Alright, Halloween 2. Um, I really liked it. Again, not just not the status of the ones I chose. Of the other ones I chose. But, it was, it was really good. And Cujo. Loved Cujo, but not the status of the other ones. Um, and now our number one. The Shining. Ooh. Oh, hold on, let me try that again. The Shining. But, uh, yeah, The Shining goes to number one because, um, the craze built up to complete madness in this movie. I really, really like how they did that. Um, really nice. I really liked it. But, uh, 
Jack Torrance, Jack Nicholson, amazing actor. He he did amazing, um, like amazing, like he did amazing, amazing in this movie. But um, yeah, yeah. Do you guys agree with my with my rankings? Hope you do. Uh, what's your rankings? Post down in the comments below. What do you what um? What eighties horror movies do you like? What's your favorite? Break down your top five. Oh, Jason and Jason said he'd call me back later. I might try to try to call up Cuman Gaming and might do a video. Oh, we have a new channel, me and Quentin. It's called the Quentin and Austin Show. Just look it up. So, so yeah, look it up. Um, subscribe to it. We created it yesterday, and we're gonna start hopefully uploading videos today. So yeah. Um, so yeah, oh guys, um, next video, I'm going to take photos of all of our notes and ideas that we had for this. I've had this booklet since December, no, for like two years, and, um, yeah, we've had this before we changed our name to Racing Source Nightmare. So yeah. Oh, and I want to show you guys some for a second. Right. So I want to show you guys something. You guys want to see the round table? You guys see it? There it is. There's a round table. Unfortunately, something happened to it. I have no clue what. But it. But it broke. So I'm really sad that that happened. actually take something from there before because my grandpa wants to throw it away and so I'm going to take something from there that I find important. It was this. This thing right here. The round table is used for... I'll take a photo of it. Jason's Corner. Round table discussion. Whore Hall of Fame. Goat. And coming soon was ready to race but you know. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to put this up somewhere, you know, for, like, decoration, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna put this up for decoration somewhere. I might hook it up on that hook right up there. Or somewhere. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, stay awesome.